Okay, you ready? Sure. Hey, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Wait. If you are... Can we start with one? <laughs> me, my, me, mo, me. <laughs> Me, mommy. Real, Should we? That. No, don't don't do none of that. <laughs> <laughs> don't leave it. Don't do none of okay. that. Okay. Okay. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, sure. One, two, three. Hey you. No. <laughs> I tried to make it like, <laughs> I tried to make it Hey you. And uh, hey girl, hey. Hey girl, hey. <laughs> <laughs> for a craft to help you de-stress stick around I'm gonna show you some of our work my sister and I've been doing on cross stitch hey friend I am so excited to be here today with my sister hey Jay hey <laughs> My sister is one of the members of the Sunshine Stitchers. And what the Sunshine Stitchers do is just share their love of cross-stitch. So we have a video talking all about how cross-stitch can be used for de-stressing and as a self-care practice. But here, my sister and I are going to be sharing some of our works. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started. That'd be cool. Okay, great. So we want to start with our finishes? Yes. Okay, do you want to go first? Sure. Okay, go ahead. So, um, I started stitching maybe over a little, no, mm, three years ago ish. Ish. And, um, these are some of my earlier pieces. Okay. Um, this is a Lizzie Kate. Ooh, ooh. That's better. You know where the camera is? Right here. The camera's right there. Okay. So, <laughs> It's gonna be edited out. <laughs> so, this, so this is a Lizzie Kate. It's be your own kind of beautiful. That's beautiful. That really is. I love that. And actually, I did finish it maybe two years ago or something. Let me see. But there's still a button I need to put somewhere. Do you know where? Um no. <laughs> really is nice I'll have some pictures at the end so you guys can see really lovely thank you and um I got the fabric from Michaels so it's a Michaels fabric and um I found this I I bought this pattern off of um I bought this pattern in a cross stitch shop so it was so simple and cute and I really loved it okay your next finish so this is like my Halloween piece and I'm very proud of it it looks so good well I'll let you sh I'll let you be the judge of that <laughs> but you're gonna love it <laughs> <laughs> so um this is called a mm, hmm, what is it called Halloween ABC's yeah this is Halloween ABC's by Jardin Privé I love that fabric Oh, and this fabric is called Jamaican Sunset. Wow. So it is hand dyed fabric. So, um, and you typically, well, that's not true. I use three strands of floss for the um, letters and two for some of the motifs. So you have that 3D effect. And do you see the little, do you see? What? Do you see the... <laughs> The little guy. Do you the see the guy. skeleton? Let me see. <laughs> there he is right there. Wait, wait. Move oh, back. Oh, that light. There he is. You see him? He's holding up a 31X. Okay. <laughs> and look at the ghost. And they do have, like, I didn't have that, but they do have um, low in the dark um, thread. So you can even um, stitch the, 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 what is this called? The, the ghost and the skeleton um with the glow in the dark thread and it will glow at night for you hmm, that's pretty cool yes this is really beautiful and i have to show everyone my sister's like <laughs> the back of her work look how neat that looks just like the front doesn't it 
Look how neat that is. Oh, thank you. Oh my God, mine is a disaster. I won't even show you guys mine when I show you. But hers is so perfect. But you only see the front. When you're stitching, you only see the front. That's true. That's what she always tells me, which makes me feel better every time. And this is from, um, this is from a magazine. Let there be light. Let there be light. <laughs> This is from a magazine that I got from um, Just Cross Stitch, I believe. So, and I bought the magazine. Um, the magazine listed the list of floss needed. So I went to Michael's or Joann's to get the floss, really simple. And I got, I found this fabric, this nice blue fabric from the local um, cross stitch shop. This is um, Emma Cong Congdon, Stitch Rovia shoot for the moon i love this it's beautiful Thank look at the you. sparkly the, how the land sparkles you guys i don't know if you see that so and this is this is when it's fully finished because it's not fully finished yet it's gonna hang in my classroom oh yeah the kids that's beautiful Thank you for the students to read that all the time. And it took me a minute now. Yeah. The, the, the moon is fiddly because of the different colors. I love type typography, like words and letters. It's my jam. Yeah. I really, really enjoy nice. it. Oh, as you can see, the three pieces that I showed are words. Yeah. Look at that. And letters. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Thank I you so that. much. So I just love the process of watching my sister stitching you know and i talk to her regularly and to see how it starts and to see how it ends it's just it's a magnificent thing and my so stitching does that because now you're concentrating on putting these little x's where they belong <laughs> you know where they belong to make this beautiful piece yeah so it, it relaxes you and it's been studies have shown that like when you stitch or when you do a craft knitting um, did you ever see the, there was, um, in the a Winter Olympics, one of the coaches, he was knitting a, a sweater or something or a scarf. That. Yeah, yeah. It's a stressful situation. So to de-stress, to lower your blood pressure, you, you, you pick up a hobby, you pick up a hobby. So instead of jogging, why <laughs> is stitching? <laughs> Hey, pick what works. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so mine is because I get out of my head, I'm focused on these little X's. So I'm out of that situation. I make myself get out of that, you know. I love that. Super critical, you know. My All right, so let's get into my finishes. All right. So I, my first, one of my first projects when I told EJ that I wanted to start stitching, she sent me a very simple pattern that she had. And it's one of my favorite things. It's a butterfly. I'm not sure if you can see it. Wait, this is the back. No, oh, that's the front. Can you see it? definitely add a picture I'm very proud of my little butterfly it's a variegated thread which means it's one thread with different of uh, you know like pinks and purples I'll definitely add a picture so that can be seen a little clearer and that was v a lot of fun to do and very satisfying because I got to finish it pretty quickly and the material EJ dyed a piece of material and sent to me. So that was really, really nice. And I think that's 14 count Ada. Yes, I dyed the fabric with writ dye and stuff. So if you like hand dyed fabric, you can dye your own fabric. You can even dye your own floss. Yeah, I didn't even know that. Yeah. Okay, so that's my first finish. And then my most recent finish that I'm super proud of is my mermaid. My... Can you see my mermaid? Yes, you can. Look at that. Do you see the breathe? Breathe. <laughs> so, I love my mermaid. So, I'm going to finish it. I'm going to frame it and FFO it, like EJ says, a fully finished, finished object. object. It could be a pillow. It could be a... F you could frame it. You could... Lots of different things to fully finish it. Yeah. So, that is my... My breathe. So, I'm going to link a video that I recently did with... EJ and the other Sunshine Stitchers, which show off a little bit other FFOs that they've had, a uh, fully finished object, so you can get experience of what that's like. So those are my two finishes that I have, that I have today. Very proud of them. Okay. She did a great, great job. Actually, um, <clears throat> her rate of finishing is much faster than mine. 
Yeah, because I do one thing and I stick with it. EJ has more variety. She likes to do different things at the same time. Me, I... Okay, so let's talk about that because that's a very important aspect because everybody has their own process. When I stitch, I think EJ calls it process stitcher or product stitcher. Is that what you guys call it, mm -hmm. right? So I think I'm a balance. You know, I really like the action of stitching, the movement, you know, being able to just relax at the end of the night and just stitch till however long. However, when I'm close to a finish and there are seasons where I feel like I need something to finish so I can feel accomplished or feel like I'm doing something with my life. So, <laughs> <laughs> so like, I remember with Breathe, I was like, EJ, I'm so close. She's like, just work on this. Just work on Breathe. So I just worked on that until I finished it and it was very satisfying. So, and um, me, I'm the opposite. Yeah. I will stitch on something. I will get a bee in my bonnet and stitch on something. And when I see it's close to finishing, I can pull back and put it away. Like, I'm okay with, like, because I don't, because I'm going to miss it. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. That's I'm gonna, cute. I'm going to miss it. So I'm like, I'm going to miss my mermaid. <laughs> but I'm just going to look at her when she's up on the wall. <laughs> But I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm like, oh, you know, this is almost done. Let me put this away, and then let me finish something else, uh, because this it should have taken me this that the amount of time that it took me to finish it. It, sh it really shouldn't have taken me long. But I was almost like I finished most of this, and I had to, this this to do. I'm like, you know what? Let me let me relax. Let me find something else to stitch because I didn't want to. I didn't want it to end. That's really. That's really sweet. I like that. Yeah. So everybody has a different way with it. And <clears throat> the beauty of cross stitch or any craft is that there is no right or wrong right. way. Yeah. It's how it makes you feel. How, it doesn't make you happy. Are you enjoying the process? And, you know, that's the thing too. I also like what I learned through the process. You know, so what did I really, you learn about yourself? Well, I'll talk about the breathe uh -huh. because... You know, and breathe, it, I just finished it until I remember, but these had French knots. These are French knots, and French knots are like specialty knots. So, you know, I know the X, and I'm very comfortable with the X. And I also backstitch. I'm very comfortable with backstitching. I like backstitching. Um, however, the French knot was a challenge at first when I've done it. Now, I've been stitching now for, is it a year or two years? I can't remember. It's not two years. Is it's not two years? How old is the baby? The baby's three. Two years. Oh my goodness, yeah. it's been two years. You're probably three or four. Mm, three? I was 2017. Okay. Four. Five? <laughs> Whatever. Math. <laughs> right. <laughs> so when I first started <laughs> when I first started French doing French knots, I was like, this is crazy. This is for the birds. I cannot do French knots, right? But for this, I know that I was like, well, I need to try it again. Some people can do it. Why can't I do it? Mm -hmm. So I watched another video and I practiced and I was really, really happy with my French knots. It looks good. This time. I was Actually, really, really, really happy. Really good. Right? I, I put a lot of focus on it. And that that felt so good. That accomplishment feeling or that feeling of this was challenging at first and now I can do it. Mm -hmm. I mean it really feels good. Mm -hmm. So that's something I learned. Is to not give up. Just keep trying until you can figure it out, you mm -hmm. know? And that was really, that was a really good thing. It's not learned, but definitely reinforced it, mm -hmm. that idea. So that's the thing. And on this piece, what did I learn about myself on this piece? I don't know, but I like to stitch. You yeah. can't really see it, but I really like this process. So then I like to stitch and I like butterflies. I didn't <laughs> learn that. I knew that stuff. <laughs> so what about you? When I first met, finished my first piece, oh, my first piece, my first like amazing piece that's finished is a birth sampler for the baby and um he's not a baby anymore we call him the baby i don't know why because he's the youngest oh that's why yeah. oh you like that <laughs> i'm the baby of the family and he's the baby right so <laughs> did you see the eyes <laughs> woman can still call herself Excuse the baby me? of the family. Are we talking about age? No, we're not talking about age. I don't know how a full-grown woman, because I'm going to cut that part out. Okay. I don't know how a full-grown woman can call herself the baby anymore. Because I am the baby of the family. Hello? Just like our 74-year-old aunt talking about, I'm the baby 
There's a 74 year old aunt. Oh, she, she is the but she is the baby. She is the baby. Why you why are you telling that lady? Okay, let me not get like that. Let me change it. <laughs> Our aunt calls herself the baby too, so I don't know. Because she's the baby it. of the family. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Come on, folks. You you get me. <laughs> um, what was I saying? You were saying what you learned oh, about myself. Yes. So um it was a it was a birth sampler for the baby and um it was my you know what I, I think I'm okay with deadlines like because I don't you know stuff like that but when I had a deadline to stitch I focused on it and I and I and I kept focusing and kept stitching and all new shiny things oh look at this oh look at this and then I went right back to stitching um that and I learned how to bead I learned how to really do a good cross stitch and making sure the, the the conventions you know going the right way um I learned how to back stitch um yeah and it was a kit that I got from Joann's 40 percent off beautiful piece <laughs> it's a beautiful piece I like mm -hmm. sometimes I go in there and just look at it it's really mm -hmm. sweet and my son likes it like giraffe, monkey. He likes to name mm -hmm. the animals on there. It's really turtle. It's super cute. It's really a nice yeah. birth, birth uh, sampler. It's really a beautiful piece. Yeah. I loved it. I loved it. And it also was another thing that inspired me too. It's like, man, I want to make beautiful, beautiful, you know, colorful designs. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So let's talk a little bit about our whips. And whips are works in progress. Okay. Good job. So, yeah, I'm learning. I watch your floss too. I pay attention <laughs> every week. I will definitely add in the description box a link to their cross stitch video, Sunshine Stitchers. A blast. It's hilarious. <laughs> they release a video every week and they are so much fun. So if you're crafting or you have some time, you know, you just sit down and watch them and they keep you company and keep you laughing while you're working on your pieces. So mm -hmm. it's a great, it's a great time. Yay. So let's walk, talk about our whips. You want to go first? Sure. Okay. So I am stitching. Oh my goodness, the needle is right in the middle of it all. Excuse the needle. Whoa. What does that mean? What do you mean? You're gonna poke the viewer eye out? No. But I may poke. Why is your, e your needle so tiny? Oh, this is a, cause this is a, a small needle. This is a petite needle. Why? Because you use more floss. <laughs> when you use a big needle? The big needle, sometimes when you go down, it doesn't um like it won't maneuver you know when you're when your thread is short yeah and you have a big needle it won't maneuver right that's me. true that's true mm -hmm. you don't know so, this secret before <laughs> so I'm like is, fighting with a little <laughs> short thread so this is a petite needle this is a can petite you see needle. that can you see okay yes this is a petite needle and yeah. you can look over there you can see a regular size needle on on um the african ladies Next to Frida. What's Frida? Straight. Frida. Uh -huh. ladies. Okay. Yes. So you can see the difference between a regular size needle and a petite needle. Yeah. So you can, it, it gives you a more allowance of, uh, of the this. thread mm -hmm. at the end. Correct. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. I learned everything from her. Everything about cross stitch. <laughs> Every time I start a new project, EJ. I'm about to start a new project. I need your guidance. So she tells me Ow. how to get, what material to get, how to get it. Mm -hmm. Usually she let me like choose. Let is the word to use with this girl. <laughs> Let's me choose and then tells me yay or nay. <laughs> That's my sister. So she was the full consult on this piece. And then I got a, a kit, a dimensions kit for this piece. And what a kit has, the kit has the material, it has the pattern, it has the the thread, it even has a the needle. needle. Mm -hmm. So everything you would need to to use when you're stitching. Exactly. And directions. That's yes. why I really like the kit because it have it has very clear directions on what to do. And then there's so much out there on YouTube on how tos for cross stitching. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, let me. I'm While gonna, she does that, I have to talk about. The cross stitch community i'm so blown away by this community uh, the camaraderie the support the the love so it's really nice to to join a community such as this nice that's sweet yeah thanks i'm working on this is called see look abc's again 
I'm hooked. This well, is she's a teacher. Um, You're a teacher. I am. Yeah. Mm. This is called ABC de la Bordeaux. Basically, the ABCs of embroidery, embroidery, stitching. So um, there's a French version, which Jeanne Prive is a French designer. Natalie is a French designer, and she just trans um, translated to English some of the words anyway. That could work. So so far. There's this little, <laughs> I haven't done her hand or her arms yet. Or her face. Or her face, or her hair. Yeah, so, okay, this is Ada. Ada is the cloth that people stitch. This is um, a, a type of cloth people can, can use to stitch. Um, button, cotton, it has counted. They use the D for counted, because why not? And the, you have little motifs. You have a skein of floss, you have the flowers. So this is, it runs all the way from A to Z and um, all about cross stitch and um, the craft that we love. Well, I really appreciate, because I walked in on her and she was stitching. She has a goal. She's trying to get to E by the end of the night or something. And I just interrupted her and I said, uh, let's do a video. So I appreciate you oh. stopping your time <laughs> of stitching to record with me. Oh, Thank no you. problem. Thank you. Okay, so that's one whip. That's one whip. Another whip work in progress that I have is this is, oh, this is going to be a jar. A jar. A jar. It's not a jar yet, but it's going to be. So this is, um, let me see, that's the back. I have hang, threads hanging. So it's going to be a small jar. It's, it's the love jar. And I'm going to show you when I finish, <laughs> whatever that is, <laughs> the finish the end product you see that look okay so it's gonna have a heart here it's gonna say the word love and it's gonna have um like stems with hearts nice so it's the love jar yeah, yeah. cool so what's that that's one that's i have like 56 whips which you don't need to do that just start with one 56 works in progress last year listen this girl started once a week she had a new start here's my new start there's an x on it here's, but i, no, I, I get have, it she, i have to have a 200 start 200 stitches. she that was her goal she her goal was to start something every month and she of course dragged me along but i she, i didn't we back, were supposed to i didn't make it past the third month i started three new things last year <laughs> that was it <laughs> kidding me start 12 new things lose my mind yeah so uh but she did it and i i really and, like her projects and now this year I, i'm not starting on anything i'm just working and finishing this and one. i can start if i want to that's true <laughs> and this is called love is the greatest this is another magazine i have the heart and the word is the words is the greatest gift Nice. And I need to stitch the word love on the very top. So this and will be a, finished this month. Oh, yeah. That's almost done. Yeah. It has the word love yeah. real big here. So love is the greatest gift. That's nice. And then, then I'll move on to the next project. I don't know what I'll do with it. But a pillow. Who knows? You know, the sky's the limit. Um, <laughs> another one that I have is another ABC. This is called Spring ABCs by Little House Needleworks. And my goal is to st oh, wow, that's beautiful. stitch to the letter J. So I already have A, B, C, D, E. There it is, yeah, A, B, C, D, E. Really great. I like the little bunnies, how cute. Little bunnies, yeah. Really nice. Yeah, they're like, you see those little single stitches, the little white yeah. single stitches, really good. So, A, B, C, D, E, and then I have to stitch all the way to J. So, it's all about spring, stuff like that. So, um... You do like the alphabet. I do. Yeah, that's cool. Um, but I have many different types of... If you're not into alphabets and words and stuff like that, they're pretty ladies there's um quakers a type of 
a type of design. There's samplers, there's traditional, and there's modern where, you know, they have something, they have cross stitch. If you like Harry Potter, there's tons of cross stitch about Harry Potter. If you like um, Doctor Who, there's tons of cross stitch on Doctor Who and, and Marvel and all that stuff. So it's what you like. And if you see something, if you if you see a hole in the market, you can chart it yourself too. So oh my God, yeah, there's somebody we started following, mm -hmm. um, and she charted a beautiful picture of herself, mm -hmm. and it was gorgeous. Yeah, she just started stitching. Yeah, she, she did. Her name. Yeah, she's so cool. Stitching color. What's her name? Stitching and color. Um, Myasia. Myasia. Stitching yes. and color. She's our new friend. Yes, we like her. <laughs> I like her a lot. Mm -hmm. Another friend, so, okay, so I'm claiming her a friend. She might be your friend, but because I follow her on Instagram, she's not my friend. <laughs> it's Letitia from Crafty Curator. I love her. Love her. She does. I love I talk about her all the time. All the time. So she doesn't even know me <laughs> at all. Okay. Like, girl, you saw Letitia? Oh, no, 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 no. I haven't seen video from Letitia in how long? How's Letitia doing? Like, best friends. <laughs> she's my buddy. But that's, I don't know, there's something about the cross-stitch community that's really special. It's really nice. It makes you feel... I want to see your whips. You know. Okay, my whips. I'm talking too much. Okay. No, no, not at all. Just, yeah. So this is my jars. This is called Be A Light. I'll put a picture of what it's supposed to look like. I don't know if you can tell what it's supposed to be. But these are my jars. I like them. I see it because can I know what it's supposed it? to look okay. like. And then, like, this is the light, you know, the candle... You know, candle, and this is like the top of the jar. Yep, so these are my jar, and it's supposed to be like at night with dragonflies. So I really like this fireflies. Piece. Fireflies? Yeah. Dragonflies and fireflies are totally different. Things. Okay, so they're is fireflies. It? Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Those dragons. So, um, yeah, that's yeah. my, um, I don't even remember the name of this piece. Be a light. Be a light. You just said it. The name of this piece is Be a light, and I really, I really do love it. Oh, and I'm, I'm calling everybody out today. So these awesome little needle minders I got from Stitch and Button. Vicky from Stitch and Button. And this is somebody else I've met through mm -hmm. stitching and the stitching community. And they're needle minders because they mind your needles. Um, you don't want, you know, it's magnetic. So you can place your needles on the needle minder and your needles won't move. Yeah. And you know where your needles are. My next... My oh, next work, an amazing job. which I love because it was a big, it was a big um, jump for me from going from my small pieces to a, it's a, it's going to be a big piece. So it's my, I'm going to do like Gary, Gary from Garon Stitchery, <laughs> who I'm a huge fan of his work and I'm a huge fan of Ronnie's work who does um, project bags. Mm -hmm. So this is my pavane. Look at all this work I've done. I'm so, so proud good. of myself. I cheated in a, Wow. You did a lot more than I thought you yeah, did. Yeah, I did a lot. And there's a little mistake somewhere around here that EJ's trying to help me figure out. Um, I never it frogged out. it. Oh, no. Remember you sent me the picture? Yeah. I never frogged it, but I, I'll do that when I get back home. Frogging is is taking out, unstitching the, the wrong stitches. Y'all see this, right? You see, I'm, I'm just holding it up. That's amazing. I'm so proud of it. That's, you did a great job. I love it. So I one day, in the middle of stitching the next piece I'm showing you, I said, I just want one color. <laughs> Do you know anybody who just designs one color? She goes, well, there's a lot of them. So she had me look at Long Dog Sampler. Mm -hmm. And this is the Pavane design from Long Dog Sampler. And I just loved it. I just loved it. So I'm excited. It's going to be a big piece. But it I'm is. really excited about it's gonna it. Be good. And it'll take me a while, but who cares? I love it. Oh it's my really goodness. Nice. Like whenever Did you I do just one want, page yet? Almost. Almost done with one page. Yeah. I just need to finish right here, and I'll be done with the first page. So this is just how many pages? 11? I can't remember. Maybe about 9 or 10. Okay. Yeah. This is one page. Can can we take yeah. it out? You sure you want to take it out? Oh, yes. Lord. Oh, and these are Grim Grime. Grim <laughs> Grim Grimes. No, Grime Grim Grimes. Grim Grimes. Now, these are Grime Guards. I'm going to edit out. This... <laughs> I might not. <laughs> These are Grime Guards, also by Garon Citri. So, we'll put all of that in the description box. I hope I remember. Look at this. Guys, this is going to be really gonna be big. Huge. I've never done anything this big before. It's going to be huge. Yeah. 
And this is just one page. Right. Yes. So. Good job, Cheryl. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, EJ. Okay, what's next? That's it, right? Oh, oh, this is my girl. Okay, and my next whip, work in progress, is yes. Garden Tresses by Awesome Studio. Awesome Pattern Studio. Awesome Pattern Studio. Yeah, which is an Etsy shop, so you can also get, ooh, ooh. Whoa. This is my pride and joy, Garden Tresses, Mother Earth. Earth goddess, like this, yeah, I like this, like that. Yeah, there, there she go. is. There you go, With Michael Jackson and my sewing machine, needle minder. This has been great. I love this project. I haven't worked on it in a few months, I've been working on Pavane, but uh, I don't know. I think okay, so let's just be honest. I think I'm what you're talking about where I don't want to put her down, I don't want to finish because yeah. I've fallen in love with her. Yeah, I absolutely fall in love with this piece. That's and that's She's why she only wanted one color. Yeah. Versus, because it's a lot of switching lot of, of switching, colors. Yeah. But it's beautiful. I love her. I cannot wait to finish her. So let's talk a little bit about this. This design was created with a different skin color. I remember when I first started stitching, I told EJ, uh, she's like, "What kind of patterns do you want?" And I told her, "Well, nothing with people because I don't see anything that looks like me, oh. and I would like to stitch." People who look like me. And she's like, well, you know, you can convert. And then she really uh, had me look at uh, Crafty Curator, mm -hmm. Letitia's work. She does that a lot. She converts skin color to really reflect her community, herself, her family. And Minnie Gray is another one. Yeah. I love her too. All X's. And All X's. Yes. And she also does that. So that was really a great... It's like a fruit. Oh, wow. I can stitch all these people and just have them look like me and my mm -hmm. family. So that was really exciting. So I converted her and I used the chart. Was it Lord Libdan chart? Mm -hmm. I choose, I used that to find my three shades of the skin tone that I wanted. So that was really so exciting, exciting for me. So my sister and some of her cross stitch buddies, cross stitch activists started this, um, this movement. You want to talk about it a little bit? Craftivism. 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 Correct. I love it. Craftivism. Yes. Um, so a group of us, you know, we wanted to start a sal, which is called a stitch along. Um, where a group of people under one hashtag um start different you can start the same thing or you can start different things and we decided to start different things whatever you want stitching if it's a person and you want to change their skin tones um or their ethnicity so um you can tag um representation matters sal sal is stitch along so representation matters sal or diversity and inclusion sal because we want to be included we want to see the diver because st stitching and our craft it has a diverse group of people and we want to see our stitching reflect that population as well so that's beautiful Thank really, you. I've met a lot of great stitchers in that. So usually it's on Instagram or Facebook. And if you are starting to stitch or if you are stitching and uh, would love for people to see, I would love to see your work. Please make sure to hashtag, hashtag diversity and inclusion Sal mm -hmm. or hashtag representation, representation matters, matters Sal. Sal. Correct. Yeah. Great. I love yeah. that. I love that. So I really love the idea of craftivism. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes. Right? Using your craft, using your work to speak truth. To yeah. speak truth about, you know, equality, mm -hmm. about justice, and about mm -hmm. love. Mm -hmm. Love and community. So I really love that concept. Yeah. I'm proud of you. Oh, thank you. If you watch Floss Tube, this part would be my favorite part. The part of haul where they talk about all the stuff they've gotten and bought and gotten from friends and purchased but uh at our previous video i showed <laughs> no i left my haul at home and she showed all her haul yes so we have nothing to show you i have today. no haul no haul it's okay because we're going to do another one soon mm -hmm. we're going to do a, a stitch along hopefully yes a stitch along video and hopefully we'll <laughs> have some haul to show you then uh yeah Maybe. it'll be us gabbing Gabbing and stitching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and drinking tea and wine. 
something strong. Or something strong. <laughs> <laughs> Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. So happy to announce the winner of our Earth Goddess. Thank you all who commented and entered the giveaway. The winner is Glenna Henniger. Thank you so much for all that entered. Glenna, congratulations. I will definitely be looking for your comment, for your information, so that I can send this to you right away. Congratulations, Glenna. Thanks, everyone. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today and we hope to see you again on our next video thank you for inviting me thanks for being here <laughs> i love you love you too all right bye bye